welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis. Hello. Hi, Adam. Hello, Liz. And we are here together to, well, I mean, not together, together, but we're here on this video or podcast or whatever you're listening to, to have a conversation about the Spotlight English program, Learning More at the Human Library. And if you have not had a chance to listen to that program, it's on our website where you can read along with the words and listen, and that is at www.spotlightenglish.com. Or you can also check out the program on YouTube where you watch a video as you follow the words and listen to the program. So there's a couple different ways to check that out. And we also have a no music version and an advanced version depending on what program you're more comfortable with. Um, and I also want to give a little plug if you want to get that script as a PDF that you can like mark up and highlight and uh, take your own notes on, we have two ways for you to do that. And one is a YouTube membership, which um, uh, we have four different levels of membership. And starting at the advanced level, you can get PDF scripts of whatever programs you would like. And that is a really great way also to support us, to get extra content, um, and to have your name in every single video that we make as when you're a member. I think it's um, pretty cool. Other, it is pretty cool. <laughs> um, and the other thing that's pretty cool is if you just want a easy way to practice every week and you want a reminder sent to you, we have a very great program where you can just get the scripts delivered to you. It's a subscription. Um, you get the script for the program every Monday and a link to the audio. We send it directly to your email and it's only a dollar per week. So you can sign up for that on our website. It's called Scripts by Email. It's right there on a little button. Um, I think that is a really cool way to make sure that you never miss a program and you always have yeah. a script. It's yours to keep forever. Yeah, to follow along. Yeah. So anyway, uh, maybe you've you paused this video and you've gone to listen to the program <laughs> and now you're here again and we want to discuss this program with you. So uh, learning more at the Human Library. Uh, this is actually a program uh, that I talked to our writer, Dan Christman, about because I saw a sort of, um, maybe you don't even know this story, Adam. Mm. Um, you know, I saw this like little meme on Facebook and it was like, in Denmark, there's a place where people can go and they learn from each other and it was like a little picture. And I was like, this, seems really cool but you know sometimes on Facebook you see things and you're like that can't be true or that's right. just a warm fuzzy story right and so I kind of filed it away for an idea just to look at later and when I was able to look at it later I found out it actually was real it's oh, a real nice. thing and so I talked to our writer about it our writer Dan Christman and uh, I encouraged him to write a program about it, and I love this program. Yeah, it's Maybe a really, it's a thing. really, um, it's a different kind of idea. Uh, uh, the kind yeah. of thing that when you when you read when I li when I listened to the program when I read the script, I thought, well, this is obvious, but it was brand new, yeah. I a brand new idea, but it yeah. felt like an idea that just why hasn't someone done this before? Yeah, I had the exact same thought like, oh, this was invented like, uh, I forget what year it was, but only like 10 years ago? Yeah. What? Yeah, so let's talk uh, about people, if you if you haven't listened to it, people might be thinking, what is a human library? That could be a little creepy. Well, and it's a, it's a sort of a metaphor, right? So right. it's really difficult if you're just learning a language, it's, it's like a, a step above normal speaking. Right. Right. So a library is a place where you would go and you would borrow books or music or other, I mean, libraries are changing, but traditionally they included books. And mm -hmm. the scripts often mention people as books. So yeah, human books. Human books, that's right, human books. 
Well, of course, a book has information in it, right? We go to learn. We go to engage with new ideas or to hear interesting stories. Mm -hmm. um, so a human library would be a place with that same thing, right? Like, and that's what I think is exciting about this. And we can we can go into the story details of how it how it developed. But what is exciting is to think of people as something to learn from. And that seems like such a basic idea. Right. But well, we don't always do that. Yeah. I mean, if I, okay, let's say that um, I disagree with my neighbor about something or um, I don't even know what I would disagree with my neighbor about. Uh, there, <laughs> She's great. <laughs> but um, so if I disagree with my neighbor about something, you know, I have a close relationship with her. I live very near to her. Um, right. We live in the same area. So you probably have a lot of interaction. Just, hey, good morning. You know, right. Things like exactly. That. So it might be awkward or very um, uncomfortable for me to ask her about like, well, why do you believe this thing? Or why do yeah. you act this way? Um, uh, and uh I, this is a great way because like the human library is a great idea because maybe maybe she is an alcoholic. I don't know. That is one of the that's one of the human books that you can right. borrow from a right. human library. Right. So if I feel awkward or uncomfortable uh, talking to her about alcoholism, hmm. um, I but I really want to know more. I can go to the human library, maybe ask this person, this human book, questions right. that I have or things that I want to say, and that person can help me learn more about maybe right. that condition or their life and really open my eyes to like a way that I can talk to my neighbor in a better way. Yeah. I think I think um if we if we if if this were for my my children, they would call it human Google, right? Human <laughs> yeah. human search. Yeah, let's bring the human human library into the twenty uh, first century. <laughs> yeah, so think about it like that. Like if you had a question about something, you can go and search it on the internet. But you could also talk, to, spend thirty minutes talking to a yeah. person who had uh -huh. experience with that, and how valuable that would be. And as I was thinking about this, it made me think of like what I, if I was going to be a book. Yeah. What, if you were going to be a book. If I was going to be a book. Okay. Did yeah. you, were you thinking about it if you were going to check out a book? Yeah, I was. Oh, okay. So if I was going to be a book, um, I think there, there are some things like we, um, we, it wasn't necessarily easy for us to have children. So uh, that's right, a story yeah. that I would be comfortable telling to people to um, right. and talking about that if people had questions, because that's a subject that not everybody feels comfortable talking about, but people have a lot of questions uh, right. and there's a lot of emotions involved. So I think that would be interesting to people. What, what yeah. kind of book would you want to be or check out? You can answer. Uh, I don't know. I've actually been thinking, I've been working on this program um, because I'm producing it yeah. and I've been thinking about that as I'm producing it. I don't, I don't know if I have a specific story to tell. I do. I have mentioned this before that um, like in these conversations that I was hit by a car when I was 15. Ah, yes. And so I do have, um, I, I, my hip, so uh, like, you know, top of my leg doesn't work correctly. Um, mm -hmm. I can still walk around and people don't notice it, but it is, um, I, I think this is a strong label, but it is a form of disability for me. Right. Um, but I don't think my disability story is um, maybe as important as a person with a disability you could see. Hmm. I don't well, know. Well, it'd be interesting I, for you to have a conversation about that with someone yeah, whose disability was more, um, maybe. I could, I could have a conversation with a person. I, I, mean, I, I might check out a human book of a person who has a hidden disability. Ooh, that might be interesting. Be interesting. Um, but I think, yeah, I, I mean, there's lots of people I would, 
I would want to check out, I think. Yeah. yeah. I would have to look at the list because like, of course, you know, human libraries, just like any library, right? They have a different selection yeah. of books depending on where you go. So if you're yeah. at a human library in Denmark, you're going to have a different selection of human books than if you're in California in the United States. Right. That will well, be a completely different selection of books. Well, and you one of the things I love about libraries, because I can go to a library, a, an actual library with actual books, and I can go to my favorite books or my favorite, and, and I know I'll like them. But I also like kind of wandering up and down, mm, you know, mm -hmm. being like, oh, I'd never considered that um, that book and take it. And I don't know, maybe I'll read it, maybe I'll flip through it, maybe I won't. But at the human library, yeah. it would be also interesting to see, oh, I never considered talking to a person um, from Angola. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm just picking that. Yeah. If you're from Angola <laughs> from and you're watching this video, leave a comment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's in, a good thing. In fact, if you're watching this video, um, please leave a comment about what, st what human book you might be or yeah. what human book you would check out or both maybe we'll we'll have to have a spotlight meetup a spotlight human book yeah meetup if yeah, you join exactly. if you're a youtube member we'll have a a spotlight <laughs> yeah, exactly i think that would be really awesome ask any question to yeah that would be that would be fun a lot of work but uh, to put together but yeah. a lot of fun as well i'm still waiting for the spotlight english movie night that we talked about in that oh, live yeah. live show spotlight english movie night yeah, remember oh, that? Oh, man, if there were Movie only club. more time in the world, more time yeah. in each day. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, but anyway. I would love to hear what people think about, about this program and especially what kind of book you think, what story do you have that people need to hear? And also, uh, what story would you want to read from other people? Um, be sure to check out this program as an advanced program or a no music program or uh, our classic program, if you haven't already, it is really good. I have really, really enjoyed learning so much about this program and how the human library began and how it actually is changing people's lives. So, and the, the program does give some great, like concrete tips some real tips that you can use even if you don't have a human library near you to take advantage of. Um, so I really encourage you to check out that program. Again, it's on our website at www.spotlightenglish.com. It is on YouTube. It is wherever you get your podcasts. And um, yeah, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you get your social media fix. And until next time, listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out.